Hello, everyone. Welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this episode of VT Workshop, we're going to be looking at some sample questions from the subject of aptitude. Aptitude is one of the most important um, denominators that uh, judge uh, the ranks of the VT exam. So, therefore, it's very important that you that everybody concentrates on that subject. There is very little mat material on it, so therefore today we're going to be looking at the questions, sample questions for aptitude, and look at how to solve them effectively. So let's start off. First question. Today is Thursday. The day after 59 days will be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we're looking at a question of days, dates, and time. So therefore, how do we solve this question? Well, to start off, <clears throat> we are dealing with days of the week. We know that we have seven days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, if a given day is Thursday, you need to find out the day after 59 days will be what date. Now, in order to do that, since we know that the set since we know that there are seven days in a week so if you know that today is a particular day of the week then the eighth day after today will also be the same date so what I'm trying to say is every day of the week repeats itself after seven days so, for example, if the first day is a Thursday, the second day is a Friday, the third is a Saturday, and so on, until the eighth day is also another Thursday. And so on, if you or multiply the number of seven with the number of days given, if you, so for example, we have 59 days here. So, seven multiplied by what number gives you the closest to 59? So we have 7 times 8 giving you 56 and 7 times 9 giving you 63. So therefore 7 times 8 is what we're looking for. So today is Thursday. So if the first day is a Thursday, then after 8 weeks, the 57th day will also be a Thursday. Now from there it's uh, very easy. You just have to, uh, you know, add up days and the day of the week to the other in order to get the answer. So 57th day is Thursday, so therefore the 58th is a Friday, the 59th is a Saturday. And we need to find out the day after 59 days, which is day number 60, that is a Sunday. So therefore option A, Sunday, is the right option. Monday happens on the 61st, Tuesday is on the 62nd, and Wednesday is on the 63rd. So all the other options are incorrect. Option A, Sunday, is the right answer. Next question. Which of the following represents coal mines, factories, and fields? So we have four of these Venn diagrams. One of these Venn diagrams represent the relation between coal mines, factories, and fields. Now, if you look at the three words, coal mines and factories are not related to each other in terms of space or area. It's not that coal mines are present inside factories or factories are present inside coal mines. They're two separate entities. However, coal mines are mostly present in fields. Factories are also mostly present in fields. So if you have a large enough field, you can include a coal mine and a factory on it. So therefore, since coal mine and factory are both present in fields, so therefore option D is the correct Venn diagram to represent it. In option A, uh, one of the three words is completely excluded from the other, so that's incorrect. In option B, it says that some fact coal mines and some factories are not in fields, which is also incorrect. Option C is concentric, so that means um, one of, which means that one of them is smaller than the other. So therefore, option C is also incorrect. The right answer is option D. Coal mines and factories are both present in fields. 
Next question. Find out the missing term in the series. 1, 8, 27, blank, 125 to 1, 6. Now, if you look at all of these numbers, you notice that um, 8 is the same thing as 2 cubed, 27 is the same thing as 3 cubed, 125 is 5 cubed, and 216 is 6 cubed. So that means 1 also stands out as 1 cube. So the number that we have to find is between 3 cube and 5 cube. So logically, the next step after 3 cube is 4 cube. So the question mark denotes 4 cube, which is 4 times 4 times 4. 4 squared is 16 times 4, which is equal to 64. So therefore, option C, 64, is the right answer. None of the others are cubes. So therefore, option C is the right option. Next question. If plus means multiplied by, minus means plus, multiplied by means divided by, and divider means subtracted, then what is 6 minus 9 plus 8 into 3 times tw divided by 20? So over here, we need to change the symbols to what they mean in order for us to solve the actual question. 6 minus 9. Minus represents plus, so therefore you have 6 plus 9. 9 plus 8 is the same thing, is, is supposed to mean 9 into 8. 8 into 3, since multiplied by represents division, so 8 divided by 3. Finally, 3 divided by 20 in the question, divided by stands for minus, so therefore you have a minus 20. So this is what we need to solve. <clears throat> and when we're solving these kinds of questions, it's a good idea to use baud mass. So bracket of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So therefore, that's how we're going to um, that's how we're going to solve the arithmetic operators present in this particular expression. So as you can see, you have multiplication and division, which should be done first, followed by additional subtraction. Now, we have 9 times 8 divided by 3. So 9 times 8 gives you 72. 72 divided by 3 is 24. You can corroborate that by dividing it yourself. So basically, this expression now becomes 6 plus 24 minus 20. 6 plus 24 is 30. 30 minus 20 is equal to 10. So therefore, option C, 10, turns out to be the right option. Options A, B, and D are incorrect because the other options, their answers are numerically different from the answer that we got, which is 10. So when it comes to uh, changing operators, it's a good idea to use bot mass, bracket of division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, because that's how you will be able to correctly use the arithmetic operators. So using that, we found that option C10 is the right answer. Now let's look at the final question of the day. Some words are translated from an artificial language. We need to find out which of these words could mean lighthouse. So. Let's look at the extract given. Malin pimple means blue light. Malin tiffle means blueberry. Arpen tiffle means raspberry. Now, if you can see, the word malin is repeated in two of these phrases. And in both of these phrases, the term blue is repeated. Similarly, the word tiffle is repeated in the next two sentences, I mean phrases. And both of these phrases can contain the word berry. So therefore, from this correlation, we can uh, gain that malin, the word malin itself, means the word blue. And the word tiffle means berry. So we have the odd one out pimmel, which is, would correspond to light, and the word arpen, which would correspond to rasp. So the word arpen means rasp. And the word pimmel means light. Now we need to find the word that could mean lighthouse. So whatever word uh, is the answer should have the word pimmel in it. So pimmel, since it means light, so therefore among the four options, we should have the word pimmel in the right answer. So if you look at the options, you can see that options A and C are incorrect. 
because they do not have the word Pimmel in them, which means light. Now we have options B and D both have the word Pimmel, which means light. Uh, option B is Pimmel Arpen and option D is Pimmel Doken. Now if you look at the word Arpen, Arpen actually means rasp. So therefore Pimmel Arpen would mean rasp light, which is actually wrong because we need to find out the word for lighthouse. So option D is incorrect. So option, I mean option B turns out to be incorrect because Arpen means rasp. So option D, Pimmel Doken, would actually mean lighthouse. So since Pimmel means light, you can find out that Doken means house. So therefore Pimmel Doken is the word that could mean lighthouse in that artificial language. So option D turns out to be the right option. So that concludes this episode of Vitti Workshop. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate, your partner in education. If you want to get more questions from Aptitude or other subjects of Viti or other examinations, then please don't forget to hit the notifications icon present below the video. So until the next episode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.